A lot of people ask me, what size ship should I go on? And I think that question has a lot of different parts that you need to kind of figure out. So on small ships, they are more intimate, right? It's not as big, there's not as many people, there's not as many crew. It's more homey, it's less crowded. Um, you know, you can get to know the people that you're cruising with a little bit more. You'll start to remember faces a lot easier. You also learn the decks on the ship a lot easier, so you can navigate it a lot faster, whereas on a bigger ship, it t obviously takes a little bit longer. I also think smaller ships tend to be a little bit more relaxed as well. Keep in mind there's usually less restaurants. Um, that doesn't really bother me as much because I enjoy eating in the main dining room. So if you're not super picky about where you eat and you're not a huge cruise foodie, then smaller ships shouldn't be a problem for you at all because there are still plenty of food options on smaller ships. Mid-size ships are also really great. I've been on the Carnival Magic, which I consider to be a mid-size ship. And I would say the only difference for me is the added dining. There's Cucina, there's Guy's Pig and Anchor, there's just a couple more food options, um, but that doesn't always necessarily mean that that cuts down on the lines either, so keep that in mind as well. Now let's talk about the mega cruise ships, such as Mardi Gras Celebration and soon to be Jubilee. These ships are massive, and I don't think you can really grasp how big they are until it's right in front of you and you actually look at it. The biggest perks of sailing on a mega ship is obviously all of the dining options that there are. There are so, so many, and there's also a lot of entertainment. There's a lot to do. Like I said earlier, there's a roller coaster on one of the ships. So if you constantly want something to do, one of these ships is definitely going to be best for you. In my opinion, I personally like smaller ships better, but it really just depends on what type of cruiser you're going to be. If you're more laid back, relaxed, you just kind of like to lay out, go to um, you know, the main dining room for dinner and then go to a show and maybe go to the bar and have a few drinks, then a smaller ship is probably best for you. But if you like to party and you, you know, want to do a whole bunch of activities all throughout the day and you want to go to a different restaurant every night and try try a lot of different specialty dining, then a mega ship is going to be good for you. If you're kind of in the middle of those two, then definitely check out a midship. It really just depends on what you personally want to do. I will say this though, if you are sailing on a longer cruise, for instance, more than 10 days, I would probably go with a larger size ship, either a, a mid-size or a mega size ship. I don't think that I would do um, one of the smaller ships for a longer cruise. So keep that in mind.